my hometown? What have you done to my hometown? Dear future generations, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you found Earth a mess. Earth wasn't like this. Earth was a paradise. But now, Earth is a disaster. After cutting trees, we put in a city. After putting a city, we decorated it and provided good shelter and management. After that, we added nice roads and railways. We even added street rides for cars and humans to drive and walk safe. We made sure that each and every day there is always a maintenance. Cutting grass short, screening beans immediately and maintaining order. We also made sure that we respect elders and obey parents but now I'm a savage. Because I couldn't control my foolishness. Look what we've done to my hometown. Your future hometown. I'm sorry again that we couldn't even know where to start. Even after the destruction, the mess, they destroyed the story and they are respectful. Okay. We couldn't reverse it back to our how it was then. Dear future generation, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. No. Wait a minute. I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry because we can change this. We can change this because I believe we are matured enough to make our land and environment clean. I believe we can bring back the everyday maintenance and service I used to see. I believe we can respect the works of the government and man-made technology. Let us not destroy and stone buildings and cars just because they are not ours. Let us keep lords and trees in a natural way we can use them in peace. Let us keep street rights and postures in a normal serviced way for our future generation to use them. Let us encourage and respect our elderly ones, for they kept my hometown green, so now we do the same. Because I thought only humans change from beauty to rust, from rust to dust. But now, Earth is the one getting old instead of getting newer and better. And now, our future generation, we have to start all over again. Instead of giving pressure to them, why not just maintain what we have invented and build in a very normal way? Once again, all in one, let us all respect the engineers who created the machines and vehicles. Let us respect the farmers who provide food for us. Let us respect the accountants who count and make money. Let us respect the farmers who provide food for us. <laughs> let us respect the marketeers who bring food closer to us. Let us respect the ministers, the mayors, the lawyers, the teachers, the pastors, the bishops, the priests, the doctors, the nurses, and of all, let us respect the president. I salute the presidents all over the world because they are the ones who are actually working on the development of my hometown. Of my hometown. Peace be with my hometown and the world.